Hello friends, uh, I want to take a minute to talk to you today about something that I really believe is part of the bigger picture of what's going on in the media and what's going on in politics and in geopolitics for that matter. And that is what has happened with uh, what WikiLeaks has called Vault 7. All right, it's the biggest story that is, it's not that it's underreported, it's just the entire news cycle is occupied with Trump-Russia rumors and you know, how small Trump's hands are and how silly Trump's tweets are and uh, Orange Hitler and uh, all this other stuff, all right? The real deal is this. Without you knowing it, for many years, the NSA and the CIA have kept close to them and only known to them what are called zero-day exploits. They have, in fact, stockpiled these, okay? So they have hundreds of them if not thousands on all the devices that you know and love, all right? Every router, every home router, every corporate router, every edge router, every core router, every switch, every TV set, every phone, every computer, every operating system, completely compromised by the NSA, their corporate shills. It goes on and on. Uh, you can say whoever you want. The fact is your tax money was spent on this. You were not consulted, you were not asked, and it wasn't a good idea. Why wasn't it a good idea? Because these people are irresponsible. They're not just irresponsible, they're very irresponsible. Much akin to the way that the uh, fabulous scientists of the United States uh, uh, proliferated nuclear technology throughout the world with their political bent. Some of these computer scientists have now, for some reason, been very well, I don't, you know, I, I, it's hard for me to believe that the NSA got broke into, okay? These tools are out on the net now. They've been out for over a year. About, I don't know, six months ago, WikiLeaks started publishing. You can go back and look at the date, you know, Google yourself some information there, all right? But several months back, WikiLeaks started letting out this thing. What is Vault 7? Who is Vault 7? Where is Vault 7? Okay, it was, uh, you know, kind of dramatic, but now I see their point because this is a horrific thing. And what WikiLeaks did is they didn't publish the source code of these things. They didn't publish the, the finished applications or, or anything. They just showed you the manuals for this so that you'll know it's real. It's a real thing that they did. Okay, it's totally illegal. Uh, and instead of them being in front of Congress answering questions, what we have is Trump Russia, you know. Well, that's what we have. We have uh, Podesta, we have uh, uh, Rice going in front of Congress in secret sessions, all right? Uh, talking about who knows what, things that they do that we don't know about. Well, this is one of the things that they do that we don't know about, and it was a very bad idea from the start. And um, mm -hmm. I just want to tell you that, I want to tell you that I think this is the big picture, that this whole thing is being led by the deep state. They're the ones that control the media. They have their plants in the media. If you don't believe me, Google Operation Mockingbird and see what I'm talking about. It's been going on, it's going on now. And you can see that because all of a sudden the left in the media is all just loves the FBI and just loves the CIA and loves NSA. All the things that they say they hated about the government before, now they love because they're obsessed with this Trump Russia thing. And the reason they're obsessed is this is the mind control. This is what the NSA wants to do. This is how their propaganda works. All right. They've made all these horrific tools. They were offensive in nature. They were not meant to defend us. Not in any way, shape or form. They, they've broken into everything that we have. Every conversation you have is taped. Not, well, when I say taped, that's another thing. Did you notice that when Trump said he was wiretapped, they act like, oh, that's silly. They didn't get on there and tap those wires. But when he said he had tapes, they didn't ask him for the cassette, did they? No, because they knew what he meant by tape. And what he meant by, means by tape is, man, you don't know what's being recorded now, all right? They could have uh, had uh, Comey's cell phone turned into a microphone. He has no idea, and neither do you, for that matter, because all this Internet of Things and all the devices in your pocket and the ones that you have to have on you because of work are nothing but tracking devices and listening devices video devices for that matter too so carefully think about this will you and 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 try to think about what who gains from this 
And what's the big picture? There's already been two tremendous worldwide hacks that involve shipping lines, uh, uh, drug companies, hospitals, and it's just going to get worse.